Hello there, my ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going into uh, Christmas territory, fragrance-wise, and I'm going to recommend some of the greatest Christmas fragrances that basically smell like Christmas with the vanilla, with the spices, and all the coziness that comes uh, in the Christmas spirit, basically. So if you're interested in wearing something that matches this upcoming holidays, or maybe you want to give a present to someone, in your surrounding that likes this type of spicy Christmas scents, maybe you can uh, benefit from this video. So first of all, the first fragrance that came into mind is of course Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanilla. Tobacco Vanilla, Tobacco Vanilla, very sweet, very, very chloe, but it smells really um, like Christmas market in my opinion. It's pretty high quality, super dense, it gets even more dense the longer you have had the fragrance which could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on what type of fragrances you like but this is not for the faint of heart so to speak so if you're not a vanilla lover or tobacco lover maybe this is not the right fragrance for you but it doesn't smell really much like Christmas long lasting as you guys know the next one is of course Spice Bomb Extreme vanilla tobacco in the base note with the top of a little bit fresher bergamot and spices with the peppers and then it dries down it sits on the base of tobacco and vanilla and that's basically what you smell in the dry down if you don't want that you can also go with my favorite the original spice bomb but i know a lot of people really love the vanilla for some reason and the tobacco it's not my favorite favorite notes but there are christmas style type of uh, fragrance notes that works well if you want the cozy vibe another one that i also have in my collection but um, doesn't use so much but it's a good holiday type of fragrance cozy intimate warm La Nuit de Lom. Uh, super hyped up super hyped up of course Jeremy's favorite fragrance of course a fragrance that break through the um, the community basically because of uh, him and it got so hyped and got high high sales because of that but nonetheless it's a very cozy fragrance and a lot of women have this as they their favorite male fragrance they want this on a man especially in the date situations cuddle situations and also probably in christmas type time and christmas type of situations you can also wear this to new year's eve if you want but I think this is a little bit more sweater-like type of fragrance that you have a knitted sweater, maybe a Christmas sweater or something like that. That is a fantastic fragrance for those holiday laid-back situations. I want something a little bit more elegant, I think, in the New Year's Eve. But I'm coming with a video for that as well. Another one, fantastic one, if you maybe are out in the woods with your uh, parents your significant others your family maybe you have a little um, fireplace at home so to speak yeah, you like the little bit more smoky burn tree type of vibe then go for mason margellas by the fireplace which is a super cabin like type of fragrance that smells like you're in a cabin you have an open fireplace maybe you have some um, cinnamon on the table decorated uh, some oranges some uh, christmas decorations someone is cooking some um, toffee in the kitchen you're just eating a good dinner and you know you're cuddling with some uh, whiskey maybe to an open fireplace and to just relax and take it easy. This is a fantastic fragrance, but it is pretty smoky. It could be a little bit harder to pull off if you're not a fragrance enthusiast, or if you don't really, uh, if you're not a fond of the little bit smoky fragrances uh, overall. But it's also a great fragrance in general. Next one, we go into a little bit more um, niche territory. And this is Mishan Ani. It's a very heavy uh, vanilla fragrance as well. It's It's a very, dense fragrance it's a little bit higher in the price range but if money is not an issue for you and you want that very sweet cuddly holiday type of vibe and you are looking to go into niche territory nishan ami is also a very good choice another one is pretty similar to nishan ami is a uh, little bit more honey fragrance and this is also a niche fragrance one search of this is of course search of naxos search of naxos is based basically around honey and tonka which it's honey and vanilla in the base that's what this fragrance smells a lot and of course we include a lot of honey 
sweetness in the uh, in the candy and the sweets on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and also before Christmas maybe. So this is also a very cuddly, like a polo, uh, like what do you call it, like a turtleneck type of uh, fragrance, I feel. You have a turtleneck, you have a nice coat on top of that, maybe you have a scarf over it and uh, some nice uh, dark brown boots, uh, crop jeans or something like that, and you wear this fragrance out, it's very snowy. Good projecting fragrance, lasts a long time, good bang for the buck, even though it's a little bit higher in the price range. But if you love tobacco, honey, vanilla, Naxos is very good, and a lot of women like it if they like sweet, if they like sweet fra fragrances, they will love this. Especially if you're outside, because it pumps up, or pumps out a lot of juice, pumps up a lot of juice. Another one is uh, from Byredo. Byredo is not my favorite brand overall, but I think this for the winter time could be something if you are a fan of the brand. And this is called Tobacco Mandarin. Tobacco Mandarin. It basically smells like it, it's very, you know, almost like a pipe tobacco. Uh, what where you have it in like um, like shisha bars and something like that this little bit of wet tobacco and also mandarin orange notes in this one that fills the room and this one is of course the most of these fragrances are pretty long lasting because these type of fragrance notes are generally more longer lasting than for example fresh citrus note but you guys know that overall already so I don't have to uh, go through the whole um, the, the whole uh, background why it is so but they did just project better sits longer on your skin because of their their chemical structure anyways tobacco mandarin from Byredo is also considered a niche fragrance are they a niche house yeah probably are they the best niche house no I won't say so but it is a Christmas smelling fragrance next up we go into um, also niche I have two here, two fragrances that I personally don't love because I think they're pretty hard to pull off, but I know that they smell like Christmas and that's why they made this list. And the first one is Carlisle from Perfumes de Marly. It is a very dense fragrance, but as you guys know, Perfumes de Marly, they are great at doing this very spicy, sweet, honey, vanilla, tobacco type of fragrances. So if you're into that style, try Carlisle. I know that you can find it in sample somewhere. It's not the easiest, but um, they have it in stores, so you can try it. And also one that I got home uh, a couple of months back is H Haltain or Haltan, I don't know how you pronounce it. The, the new newer release from the House of Perfumes de Marley. That one is a more toffee type of fragrance. That one you can wear it to, uh, of course, uh, Christmas time. But that one is a little bit more in the direction of Jean Paul Gaultier's Le Parfum. That one smells pretty similar to Le Parfum, actually, but it is a little bit more sweeter, sweeter take in the base. It's a very toffee, heavy fragrance. It smells basically like toffee and candy when Haltana dries down. It has some oud in it as well, but I think it's only a toffee fragrance. So if you like sweets, Haltana goes before Carlisle in my opinion. And the last one I would say is Pure Excess from Paco Rabanne if you don't want to spend a lot of money. This is a both sweet fragrance and it is very playful. So it's a little bit more younger smelling than for example Haltana and Carlisle that could be a little bit more mature touch to it. I don't know if it's because they have better ingredients or something like that. But if you just want a little bit more sweet touch, but you don't want to spend a lot of money, you can also, of course, go for Pure Excess from Paco Rabanne, which is a little bit lower quality. But it, it smells pretty okay. It smells pretty okay. Is it the best smelling fragrance in the world? No, of course not. There are better alternatives in this list, as I've mentioned, but this is also okay if you are maybe new to this uh, type of Christmas heavy scents. That was my top 10 list of uh, great fragrances for the upcoming holidays. If you like the sweetness and the Christmas vibe, the Christmas type of notes, thank you for watching and I'll see you the next time.